Today, I'm going to show you how to spice up your fonts. Hello, my friends, and let's get started. So a good way to do this is to find a font online that is close to the result that you want to have. In this case, I found a font that is called Broken Heart on the page dafont.com. I'm going to link it in the video description. And the first thing you want to do is to, of course, write the font and then create a mask to hide the parts that you don't want to have or that make the job of creating a nice font easier for you. And then I'm going to select a round basic font with the color black. Uh, where's my font? There's my font. Okay. Make it a bit smaller and zoom in here. And we want to prolong this line with a nice calligraphy um, brush to make it look fancier and have some more character and artistic look. So what I would suggest to you is don't just hide the end part. You can see here it's a little bit thicker and you want to prolong this line. And you could go like this. Oops, the stabilizer is still on. You can go like this, but when you do it like this, you would compete with the line and the dynamic of the line that's already here. So this makes the job for you a lot harder. So I would cut all this back to the start, back to the root. So let's hide all of this. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing over here at the start of our font. Let's hide everything. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. And now the font looks like this and we can prolong it with our own lines. So let's create a new pixel layer down here. And again, with the brush tool, we're going to set it to white now. And in the brushes, when you look on the basic brushes, you find all these kind of things here and you have a calligraphy brush like this one, which, is, which has an elliptical tip and you can see makes a line like this, but you can also see the line is pretty unstable, doesn't look good. And this is why we want to use the stabilizer up here. So activate the stabilizer. I would suggest to use the second mode and the sensitivity is basically up to you because it is how you feel, how you work. So set this up in any way that feels good to you. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is adjust the rotation of our calligraphy brush. And you can see here the line is pointing downwards in, um, how can I say, in a degree that is too high for us. So let's click up here on more and move this window a little bit over. And here you can see rotation. So we will adjust the rotation until we find something that looks good. This is okay. Make the brush a little bit bigger, maybe like this, maybe even more. Ah, this might be too much. Yeah, let's use it like this. I can see now we can draw our own lines here. And of course, you can try around and find something that looks good to you. So this is really up to your artistic feel and what you want to see. And what I would suggest to you is for every line you may create a new layer. The reason for that is when you have a new layer, you can still rotate this around and you can resize it so you can put it in the position that you want to have. And this is really important to create the right look and feel. So let's set this back. There we go. We're going to create a new layer and go to the start of our font. Again, select the brush. We have to adjust the rotation again a little bit. Um, let's see. This looks good. Maybe similar to this one. Yeah, this looks okay. So let's create a line here. Whoop, and down here and whoom. Okay. So this looks good. Of course, you can create whatever you want in any style you want. So this is one of the suggestions to spice up a font a little bit. Let's try another font. In this case, I'm going to use the Arial font, a very simple, basic font that doesn't look like much. So let's select the font tool, Arial. I set it to black, so it's really big. And I have this picture here, kind of neon skyscraper thingy. So um, let's write something. Uh, let's write hacker. There we go. And it's bold italic for some reason. I want to have it in black. One second. There we go. Nice. Okay. So now we have the font and you can see, meh, not that interesting. What we can do with this, of course, is we can use our rectangle tool and 
set the filling to white, the stroke to nothing, and doesn't do it. Filling, okay, let's set it to white again, set the stroke to nothing, so this is important. Looks like this, and now what we can do is just create a bunch of these lines and create something of a kind of a hacking effect up here. Let's see. Um, let's move this over a little bit. Create some more lines. And a little bit more. There we go. And what you can do now is group them. So select all of those um, layers and hit Control G to group them. And now when you duplicate them and resize them, they start to look pretty interesting. Uh, I can go like this, so make really small ones down here and make this maybe a little bit longer. You can even stretch them because um, the rectangles are vector, so there is no problem with that. And you can see we get something that starts to look pretty fancy and pretty nice. So this is a nice way to spice up fonts a little bit, make them look pretty cool, and of course fit the purpose of um, what you have in mind for your design. So this is always about getting the right feeling for your creation. Let's make another copy up here, and I'm going to flip it vertically, make it smaller and connect it up here so we have some lines up there and you can see this starts to look pretty interesting pretty cool um, of course you can do more with that you can also create some uh, little uh, squares also resize them and then group them so you can see you get the idea this is a really nice little trick to make fonts look a lot more fancy and interesting one second okay let's leave it like this and i'm gonna group them again group okay zoom out use this group over here duplicate it Make it smaller, bring it in here, duplicate it a bunch more. And you can see just by duplicating it and rotating it and stuff like that, um, it looks like there is a lot more than there actually is. So this is a pretty neat trick to get your workflow faster and get quicker results for what you want to have. Um, so, and you can see this is a really nice font and you wouldn't find anything like that online, of course. You have to basically create it yourself and make some fancy kind of thing for your creation and for your flyer or whatever you're creating with it. So as you can see, pretty nice trick and very fast to work with. So there we go, that's our second hacker kind of looking font, kind of digital glitch thing. And of course you can do a lot more with that, you can be a lot more creative with this kind of thing. Um, but this is basically the way how you create your custom looking fonts and give them the feeling that you want to have in your design um, to make it your own and look like you want to have it for your flyer or whatever you're doing, music cover. It's a lot of different possibilities. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you like my channel and my videos, maybe subscribe to it. I do two new videos per week. And if you wanna support me even more, head over to Patreon where you can get my um, files with all the layers in it and you can send pictures for my feedback and all the good stuff like that. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.